hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Forza Horizon 2 with another rally car build. And my vehicle today is a BMW M2, a vehicle that I see absolutely no point in. I don't get why BMW, they made an M3 and the M3 was fine. And then they stopped making the M3 to instead make an M2 and an M4. What was the problem with having one? Um, yeah, I don't really get the point <laughs> of having two of them. Uh, I'm not saying that it's a bad car, I just don't see the point in having, having two only slightly different versions of essentially the same thing. Uh, it's probably much more suited to being a touring car than a rally car, but I'm going to give it a go. Since we've been having fairly sensible rally cars, um, well, we've been having what were essentially rally cars for a while, thought I'd give something else um, a go. Right to the garage now, as always, hey, with this series. The cars are going to be four-wheel drive, so we're going to be converting this to uh, to make it four-wheel drive. They must have the Storm Island tyres, uh, the, so they're going to have off-road tyres, off-road suspension, and the off-road gearbox. Uh, right, we've give it some tyres. They're not quite as grippy as the race tyres, but that's, that's the rules. that has been from the start of the series, so uh, we will carry on. Gearbox gives it some lovely short gear ratios, which is good for the course that we're running because it's not a particularly long course, and the suspension is uh, good for it surviving the huge jumps. There we go. I mean, it's still... <laughs> Still doesn't look particularly high, but hopefully it's enough to uh, to try and uh, survive the bumps. Now, we're not going to have any cool rally parts. Are we going to have any interesting parts at all for the car? Nope, not really. We don't need a diffuser at the front and a wing. We can have... Uh, apparently, well, we can, remo <laughs> we can remove the tiny little bit of wing, or we can have a huge, great big wing. Mm, I quite like the blue, but I'm not going to bother. We don't really need... No, no, we don't really need a wing for the course we're going on, I don't think, at least. Uh, right, tyre width, yes. We'll go for some grip. We'll get as big a tyres as we can. I'm hoping for some decent sized ones on the rear. And they're not ideal. I'd like a little bit bigger tyres, although we're not completely maxing the car out. So, 285s aren't too bad. In fact, while I'm here, I will have a look. What can we get in the way of engines? Can we go for... Ooh! <laughs> a 5.2 litre V10 or the four and a half litre V8. So we can have a, oh, do we go? I'm kind of tempted by the V10, in all honesty. I am kind of tempted to go for the Gallardo engine because it'll sound fantastic. Sod it, we're going for the Gallardo engine. Uh, <laughs> why not? Oh, should we go for a turboed one? Oh, we're not gonna have much room for other parts. Okay, no, wait, we'll, 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 we'll go do the rest of the car first now. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've just realised after I've gone and put on these bloody brake suspension weight reduction, uh, sorry, put the suspension on uh, the uh, roll bars and the weight reduction. I may have to take the engine back out again because that may shoot the PI up over the uh, S1 class mark. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ah, crap! Uh, it is going to shoot it up. Right, we'll go back to the standard engine then. Sorry, no V10. Uh, <laughs> I want the weight reduction in this car as it's uh, it's not too bad to start with, but uh, yeah, bugger it. We'll go back to. We'll go back to you. I'm not sure what engine it is in this. I'm assuming it's a uh, um, inline six or inline five. That's normally what go in BMWs. So yeah, okay, it's not too bad. Uh, how much did the car weigh in the end after I put this on? Two thousand. I mean, it's still, it's still, it's not really lost a huge amount of weight to be honest. It's still kind of heavy. So uh, we'll go with that. I uh, might as well stick a little roll cage in as well. I know it's going to add some weight, but uh, for a car that's not designed for rallying, I think a roll cage may be quite useful, stiffen up the chassis a bit. Uh, okay, power parts. I mean, the standard engine is going to get more than enough power, I would expect. It's, it's, going, to get, it's going to get decent power out of these BMW engines. Let's stick on the turbo as well. That's going to shoot it up 460 horsepower. Uh, we're not going to get as much power as we got out of the, uh, what's it called, that we had last time, the Lamborghini. Oh, yeah, we're barely going to scratch the 500 horsepower mark with this car. Um, uh, I want the lightness, to be honest. We'll stick that on there, okay? Just over 500 horsepower from this vehicle. Then we will grab the drive line. One of these. Just dump out a little bit more weight. We'll stick a diff in as well, just for good measure. Okay, we are ready to go with our BMW. How it's going to fare, I have no idea. It's a little, perhaps a little underpowered compared to some of the other cars and not exactly light. I think we could have some decent stability though. I think we may have some, some alright grip from this car, at least that's what I'm hoping. 
That's what I'm hoping for. It's going to have to have that to make up for the lack of power and relatively high weight compared to the other cars. As per normal, we will go to our Storm Island testing place, that is the Forest Brawl track, where I will have five laps to set as fast a lap time as possible. Um, I'm expecting the BMW to be mid-table. That's where I'm going to guess, around probably around the similar time that the Lamborghini set out la that came out last time, around the maybe the, the low one minute, uh, one minute twos, high one minute ones. Perhaps the BMW will surprise me. I'm <laughs> never quite sure with these cars. You're never quite sure what they're going to uh, to end up doing. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how <laughs> the BMW does. I mean, the jumps are perhaps a slight concern with this car, with it not being designed as a rally vehicle. Acceleration seems pretty decent, and grip is not bad. There's some decent grip that just sort of starts going into oversteer as we uh, as we really push. Otherwise, um, yeah, it's not too bad here around here. Whoa, we got some. We got a big jump mid corner. <laughs> That's new! That doesn't normally happen! Fly through the air, not quite so nicely on the BMW there. Uh, it has got decent grip through that banked corner. I, I could carry good speed. I mean, I was all out of position from the jump. Still carry good speed. Now, do we go wildly out of control? No, we don't go wildly out of control when we go down there. And around this next corner, uh, it can carry some serious corner speed. I'm impressed with that. Yeah, some good... Ooh, I understand. I've, I've outbreak myself there. Through a couple of those, the, sort of the more banked corners, I can really get some speed out of this car. That is quite impressive. And through the air, nicely done. How are we doing straight line speed? 140 is about as quick as we've got anything. Gear ratios are quite good on this car, a lot of airtime there. Okay, we're not quite the quickest car we've had in a straight line, but it's still not bad. It's not far off. Uh, I may have outbreak myself a tiny bit into turn one. Again, with sliding a little bit, but it's not too much. How are we through here? Yeah, we're quite good through that next corner. I can be, I can be brave and risk it with the trees. Uh, right now, next. This, oh, I've done that wrong. <laughs> I, was, I wanted to try and get over to the right there, so I can have a better run through that corner down the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, I got it a little bit wrong and almost ended up in the wall. Gear ratios are really short on this car. If I attack that corner, all wrong. Uh, oh, we've hit the bump on the inside. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. We found a wall. That's not. <laughs> that's not so good. Okay, this lap's a little bit of a write-off, um, but it is pretty good. It's kind of what I expected, in all honesty. It's not the fastest accelerating car. The jumps aren't the problem that I feared they may be. We're not having the same problem over the jumps. How is this for an opening lap? Uh, 1 minute 1.2, that's pretty damn quick for an opening lap that I wasn't particularly happy with. <laughs> okay, the, uh, the BMW has got some speed about it. Uh, it has got some speed about it. Uh, I'm in the... Well, I can't decide what gear to be in. I kind of want to be in, I think, perhaps a little longer gear ratios would be useful. I'm all out of shape over here. Where on earth am I going? That's not good. Um, yeah, a little longer gear ratios may be a tad useful uh, in this car. As, yeah, you, they're so bloody short. Uh, there is a little bit of a faff. Again, they're, they're so short, I'm finding myself, I'm wanting in the middle of a ratio again. Uh, yeah, a little longer, perhaps. Uh, but on the handling front, it's very, very nice. And I've, I've, I've overcooked that one again. Okay. <laughs> right. We will have a... Hopefully, I'll have time for a good couple of laps now. Don't overshoot the first corner. Don't overshoot the final corner. Try not to end up in the wrong gear. Oh, that was a bit of a heavy clonk on the front of the car, but never mind. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't as good as a, a second lap up into sixth. Now, brake a bit earlier. Oh, brakes are maybe not quite as nice. Whoa, okay. Got very unhappy mid-corner. <laughs> Very unhappy there, okay, it doesn't like me trying to correct it. Yeah, the brakes are not quite as nice as some of the cars that we've had down here. That's a tree, that was again a little bit too brave on on that particular corner. If we get, yeah, it's still, we still wanted to slide around there. I mean, all the cars are going to slide, we're on dirt. Oh, I've cracked my windscreen as well, that's not helpful. Oh, damn it, we're going to lose visibility, a little bit of visibility, not as bad as Forza 5 when you crack your windscreen. Uh, <laughs> that was obviously a heavy landing completely fluffed up that corner again right final lap this is where this is what this is the one that counts now uh, we're going to slow it down nicely out of uh, for this corner here and then we can have as much run onto the straight uh, clip the cone is not quite ideal please be nice across the jump please be nice across the jump eh oh, it, it took a nasty bounce on the landing it was okay through the air there's a horrible bounce on the landing but it's okay it's okay 
We're going on to our final lap for the BMW. Much better through turn one. Much better indeed through that first corner. And then it's going to slide. Yeah, just can't quite take as much. It just doesn't have as much grip. It's not oversteer It just doesn't quite have the grip to get away with what I want it to be doing. Uh, we were neat through that corner. Now across this jump, I think we want fourth gear for this corner. It's flat out though through that corner, which is important impressive from the BMW, even me getting all the lines wrong, uh, not all the lines wrong, it's just not the optimum racing line, it's the way you leave the previous corner, uh, it's a big slide again, not quite ideal uh, on that one, I'm just nitpicking really with this car, <laughs> around the final corner, a tiny, tiny little bit wide, just the run to the finish where we don't quite have the acceleration of perhaps the Impreza, uh, woo, there is a big jump, <laughs> lovely on the jump though that time, and that nice landing from the BMW is across the line of 1 minute 0.786. That's a fast time. The BMW goes up into third place quicker than a Lancia Delta S4. Uh, only beaten by the Impreza and a fraction uh, by the Evo. Yeah, the, the M2 is a, a nice, car to, nice car to drive, really. An all-round good car. Lots of grip, flies pretty well. Uh, yeah. I, as, as much as I think it is a pointless car, it's actually quite a nice one to drive. I got some got some decent speed out of it. A little bit more power would be nice. I mean, if this had, I think the Impreza was running about, uh, certainly the Evo was over six, was over, well, well over 500, I can't remember, I think it's getting up towards 600. A little bit more power or perhaps a little bit less weight either way would be quite nice for for the BMW. Uh, but that's still not a bad time to get a 1 minute 7. That's, that's a pretty good time, and it could be flat out through all the corners that uh, that the other cars could be. Yeah, the BMW can hold its own on the rally course uh, quicker than quite a lot of proper rally cars. Uh, yeah, only beaten by uh, only beaten by a fraction by the Evo as well on there. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. It's, it's quite it's quite a nice it's another nice easy car to drive. It's as easy to drive as the Galant really uh, around around this course. Just it doesn't quite have the acceleration of the of the very top vehicles. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.